All right, guys, for uh, for the people who are asking for settings guide, here it is. Uh, this is you know a general idea of how you get higher FPS in Rust and um, the best things you would want to turn on. So these are this is the just personal whatever personal preference whatever. Just turn head bulb off, please. It's so bad. Just you can't see. Use an interface, whatever. Audio, this does matter. So I would set master volume as 0.8 because it makes uh, headshots and uh, like gun noises like a little quieter. But um, the headshots are well amplified. And game sounds as 0.4. So rain, like what you're hearing right now, isn't super loud and overhearing like that. Um, I would, um, yeah, I would just leave it on stereo as well. I don't know who the hell that guy is, but, you know, whatever. Controls. Personal preference. I will go through them, though, if you need to see any of them. If you want to copy what I have. Just pause the video if you need to copy stuff. Uh, it's pretty much, it's quite default, but, um, you know. Whatever. Alright, so I use a stretch resolution. 1600 by 1440. Uh, I'm on a 1440p monitor with 240 Hz, so this is the perfect resolution for me. I get exactly 240 FPS at all times, um, and I'm stretched, so it's just it's just amazing. Um, I would turn limit FPS on in menu because it will um, take some strain off your GPU when you first get loaded into the server. Also, keep your FPS limit on zero. Or if you're on like a medium refresh rate monitor, like uh, like a 144, I would leave it on 144 so it's capped at all times and, it's, and it just stays. VSync never turn this off. Um, it has a really high input delay and it just it doesn't it's not good. Okay, these are my main settings, which will uh, be fixing your FPS. So graphics quality on medium, so you don't overuse your VRAM. I I don't have a problem with that because I'm a 3090. It's got 24 gigs, it's ridiculous, but, um, yeah, I would keep it on medium, render scale, never put it below point, uh, or 1.0, because it makes everything look blurry and, like, pixely, I don't know, it looks terrible. NVIDIA DLS, people say to turn it on ultra performance, but that doesn't work with the stretch resolution, and it just makes everything in the background blurry, so I wouldn't recommend it. Shadow quality, I would leave this at 1, shadow cascades, no cascades. Max shadow lights, zero. Water quality, two. So you can see body bags really well through the water. You can also see people swimming up below your boat. Super nice. Water reflections, none. It's just a distraction. Shader level, 100. Don't need anything more than this. Just an FPS drop. Draw distance, I would leave this at anything just above 1,000. So this works best for me. I, you could just go anywhere in between here and it will work fine. Shadow distance, I would leave this at 500. It's... You don't need shadows that far away. Like, really, no one does. Uh, anastrophic filtering, no need. Parallax mapping, uh, also no need. Global rendering, so this is a new setting. Um, for some people, it doesn't work well. It just crashes their game. But other people, like me, um, you can see everything from super far away. It just has, uh, it's just not very pixely. So you can't see it very well, but you can see it, which helps a lot. So say you can see like a 2x2 two two from like 3 grids away if it's flat. It's amazing. Uh, grass displacement, I would leave this on. So when there's like an item on the ground or something you're looking for, you could walk over it and you could find it very easily. Grass shadows, no point. Doesn't need it. It just uh, gets in the way. It's another FPS drop. If you have NVIDIA Reflex Mode, I would highly recommend turning it on. It completely reduces the latency on your computer. It's amazing. Uh, I literally could not live without it. Uh, mesh qualities. So you can play around with these, but this is the one I like. Um, particle quality. You don't need it high. It just performs drop. Object quality. I would leave this anything over 150. It makes um, like walls and like guns and like skins look super nice, but um, it doesn't drop your FPS that much. Tree quality. Anything over 100, or else it becomes like meshy, like a net, and you can't see them through very well. Max tree meshes, leave this on 100. Terrain quality, 100. So, say you're coming over a hill, 
and um, you can't, like, the guy's shooting you, but you can't shoot them because you just can't see. If you leave terrain quality on 100, you can see over the hill before they can. It's super nice. Grass decor, or grass quality, leave this below 50. It's just useless. Uh, and decor quality, have this what you want. I leave it at 74. Super nice. Uh, makes all my Christmas garlands looking nice, my box skins. Um, this is my image effects. You can put sharpen on, or you can leave it off. I like it more so I can see people through uh, trees and like, uh, like um, like, like fences and stuff. You can see it much better. anti analyzing uh, TSA makes everything look smooth and like glossy, and I don't like that at all. Experimental, I would have optimized looting on, and I would have GC buffer at the highest possible. And yeah, these are the frames you should be getting. It's raining, so it might be a little less, but I'm getting a 246, so perfectly smooth, no stutters, and it's amazing. And yeah, if you guys want to see um, another settings guide or anything updated, or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be showing my specs on the screen, so you guys can get a rough idea on what I have on my computer. Um, yeah, thank you for listening. And good night.